and now we have with us former director lifetime professor indian institute of information technology alhabad prayagraj colonel professor nagbhushan sir so the vice chancellor of vignans deemed to be university so var to maatladam poorthi details telusukundam hello sir thank you sarjanya tell me thank you sir meem jappali pleasure to meet you thanks for your valuable time sir it's my pleasure also to be with all of you thank you so much sir so how are you doing good how is all going yeah things are going on good very good <laughs> yes sir so firstly i'll start with the academic program sir sure, so as we all know uh, students are very smart these mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. and their expectations are also on the top mm -hmm. <laughs> so in that way like how does the university ensure the mm -hmm. quality especially in the academic mm -hmm. program sir mm -hmm. very happy you mentioned about it of course the students are very smart i can understand the generations always have been always smart that i do understand if their expectations are very high is it really the expectation or is it a dirty rat race which has been happening has got to be really understood by all the academicians if it is dirty rat race then it is not for the good of india it is not for the good of the people mm -hmm. however obviously any institution which is committed for the future india has got to be seriously committed and definitely the intention of vignan also has been the one and we want to be in the forefront in the private universities and that is the intention why we started a off campus in hyderabad also mm. with the intention that the real education has got to be given so the whole point is instead of putting them as crabs in a particular direction can we really make them diverse and make them to reach their niche areas every time has been our concern so we have built in lot of diversity in our education the student can choose whatever he likes to study and he can even at towards the end he can even choose a minor program in addition to the regular program that he has been doing for instance okay. if he is a boy in computer science he can always choose precision agriculture as a minor study Okay. He can even if he is an electronic student, he can choose robotics as his minor study. Mm. He can choose media also as a minor study. He can choose management also as a minor study. And for the boys who really want to go deep into the same subject, we have got honors also. Additionally, he can go deep into the subject. Mm. Well, that boy or a girl at that age, if she is really research inclined, she can even do research honors. So all these diversities are built up. all these different avenues are built up such that they all that shall not become carbon copies they all shall be individuals and obviously there is always a place for any individual on the earth therefore the aim of vignan and so also of our half campus is to create an individual well known for his individuality and his individuality should get expressed by the time he completes btech surely okay. we don't want him to be a beggar of a job mm. but the company has got to come in search of the diverse candidates which vignan has been producing that's our motto exactly sir that is what in fact the students are expecting kada mm -hmm. like uh, at the end of the education mm -hmm. academic they the students do get... not expect mm. unfortunately the students really do not know all that they know is they have got to get employed mm. if they can understand learning can bring a good employment then their focus will get diverted to learning but they are just manipulating the learning for the sake of for the sake of employment Employed. doesn't serve the purpose of education which students have got to be taught therefore in our coming revision of the entire curriculum we are focusing a pre semester hmm. a pre semester of at least 45 days where they shall be oriented towards thinking the need of education and thinking the need to learn see learning and teaching uh, should be a penance where ultimately the candidate should feel that the job happens mm -hmm. job should happen very right? true nobody should go in search of a job job shall happen mm. okay yes sir so if we talk about uh, jobs and everything employment like any strategies are there in place sir like uh, uh, to improve the collaboration industry and academic collaborations right, right. definitely we have lot of uh, collaborative activities we have lot of mous and in fact i have got to tell you most important thing mm -hmm. our entire structure of teaching itself is not theory classes theory classes separate practical classes separate 
Mm -hmm. Every course is integrated with three components. Mm -hmm. The three components are called L, T and P. So normally entire India, normally entire education sector knows L as lecture, P as tutorials, P as practicals. Okay. But we have a different connotation. L is to enhance the listening comprehension of the student. Okay. So he has got to focus, he has got to understand, he has got to absorb, he has got to get, you know, totally immersed into the listening comprehension. So the listening should be so focused that he himself should be able to motivate the further studies. So through the lectures, the teachers shall enhance the listening comprehension of the candidate which definitely enhances the focus. Mm -hmm. Once he is able to focus, definitely is able to speak better also. This is number one. Because of this, this he listens. But then the most important point of education is through transactions. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, all transactions are the reasons for the upliftment of the society. So it is not tutorials. In the tutorial classes, the students should be able to transact amongst their peers, amongst the teachers, with the library, without the library, with the digital media, etc. It should be able to transact and should now enhance, understand, incorporate whatever he has listened. That is what is a transaction. Mm -hmm. But alone transaction is not enough. He has got to practice. P stands for practice, not for practicals. So this T and P components have been decided by the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Who are the stakeholders? The companies are the stakeholders, the industries are the stakeholders, the absorbers are the stakeholders. Our alumni who have come out of this institution will definitely tell what stakeholders would expect. Therefore, T and P components are more decided by the requirements of the stakeholder, while L component is decided by the thorough academician who knows what has got to be delivered to the world. Mm. So, this new concept of LTP would bring all the changes, number one. Number two, we are now contemplating if we can keep our students also to learn on a platform in an institution rather than in the institution here itself, in a different institution. A researcher could be spending his time in a CSIR lab. A, a person who wants to get into industry could be spending some time in the industry and can he earn the credits which are required to complete the B.Tech degree by staying on the platform rather than staying in the classroom. So we want to make it a, a classroom outside the classroom. Okay. Therefore, we are having lot of MOUs in this direction, lot of industries have shown interest, lot of research labs have shown interest. In fact, for that matter, Lot of international universities also have shown interest in exchanging the students in this way. We are really planning to put all our BTEC students, professional students, in their final year, the fourth year, totally in such campus okay. where they can do some self-study, they can understand the flow, they study from that and they do their internship there and they also do the project work there. So totally going up to 40 credits. If that could be possible, we are very happy about it and that brings a big diversity. Not only big diversity, in that transition year, he will understand the flow. Mm. And he also becomes indispensable for the person in whose flow he has been working. Therefore, the offer shall automatically come to him from that industry itself. Exactly. Right? That's what is uh, our plan. That is what has been happening right now. We are also doing the same thing. We are trying to send students for internship. We are trying to put them for project work. We are trying to uh, bring the uh, faculty from the industries to teach here. Okay. And all Saturdays they come over here. We have a very separate course called industry interaction courses where the teacher teachers are from the industries. Industry. They come and offer the courses. They themselves will assess the students also. 
these teachers shall not assess the students also. Great, yeah. great initiation, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if we uh, discuss about the international student yeah. recruitment, yeah. Uh, correct me, sir, if I'm wrong. Yeah, sure. Approximately fifty thousand, more than fifty thousand, mm. uh, for 2023 to 2024 foreign students across the world, mm -hmm. uh, they are enrolled in various courses in India, right? Yes, of course. India yeah. is a very big destination for. For instance, Aurangabad University attracts plenty of international students. Mm. For instance, University of Mysore has a big division where one exclusive director shall work only on the international students. Okay. The, the department which I was heading, which I was chairing, Department of Studies of Computer Science and Engineering at University of Mysore. Mysore. In fact, the first rank and second rank were all taken by international students. And our Indian students would appear only after third rank or fourth rank onwards. Oh. So that is the type of participation of international students. And why go to that? Even in Vignan, we yes, already that have is what about I'm not, like, I'm more than 100 students in the first batch. And in the second batch, we are expecting more than 300 students in uh, Vignan. Okay. Right? They are all very seriously committed. So the international India is pulling the international crowd okay. and India, India is the right destination for various reasons mm -hmm. particularly for the developing countries either in Asia or in Africa mm -hmm. to participate over here and why to that extent in fact just yesterday I saw two American girls working for their project working for their internship in the pharmacy of this institution Wow! right so India has been doing very well and so all these Our institutions also like, have been doing very well. Like, are there any goals uh, like to improve? Uh... Yes, we definitely have many, many goals towards that. Our mm -hmm. voluntary approach mm -hmm. to go for ABET accreditation. You know what is ABET? Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology, which is an American board. Okay. This recognizes the universities at the international level. Mm. And this accreditation implies that this institution has got an international standing. Mm. So our ABET accreditation, our participation, our membership with international accreditation organization, all these would definitely expose this university to the entire international media. Mm. So these people would see that what is this institution which has got an ABET accreditation. Therefore, they definitely would be interested. Our aim is not really to make the direct stakeholders to understand, but our aim has been to make the government and the agencies to understand how good is this institution. Okay. In fact, we have been seeing the high commissioners coming over to India to check how really is this good institution and they themselves have been sponsoring. For example, our agriculture, school of agriculture has been doing so very well that uh, any high commissioner who would come or anybody, any any government visitor from Zimbabwe, from Tanzania, whoever comes, they would tell that we will send quite a lot of students for this agriculture program. Okay. Uh, when I was in school, college, I can only see the classroom, the blackboard, mm -hmm. the white chalk, that's mm -hmm. it. But nowadays, if we see the mm -hmm. mobiles, the tabs, mm -hmm. the laptops mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what are the investments in digital infrastructure, sir? If you have stolen the question, what I definitely wanted to speak. <laughs> okay. In fact, uh, on the, in the, we have a meeting of all directors, deans and heads of the department. Mm -hmm. I was reading my mind to them re recently. The next civil, next revision, next curriculum revision, a teacher has got to be only a facilitator. Okay. A teacher's presence is a must. Digital world cannot replace a teacher. A live teacher is a teacher. Mm. Okay, he is an acharya. He has got to be there. However, he is not going to do the regular teaching work. He mm. is not going to open up the brain and put the material inside directly. On the other hand, he will be facilitating them, he will be compelling them and he will be forcing them to go through the material. So when he has got to go through the materials, it has got to be on the digital platform because it has got to be anytime, anywhere and at his own pace. Mm. In fact, I have been asking my own teachers also to develop the digital content called digital you know, lectures as text material, digital text lectures. Mm. Students have got to listen to that. Students have got to understand that. 
and that L now shall not be in the classroom. That L shall be through the digital platform. Okay. Now, when they come to the classroom, the T has got to happen. The transactions have got to happen before the transaction. Again, the digital medium through the digital medium, the student should be able to send their doubts, should be able to send their observations, should be able to send where they could not understand the digital lecture. Mm. These are the things in a classroom. The teacher shall structure all those questions, put them together, and shall discuss. So the whole classroom environment will now be entirely different. Mm. The next level, when he is trying to submit the assignments and prepare the assignments, answer the assignments, submit them, it will be through the digital medium itself. Mm. Everything has going going to be on digital media. So mm. this is our the other interesting point, which is my imagination is like you are recording my speech now. All classrooms should get recorded like this, okay. and the teachers' material digitally should be available at least for one week on our server. Oh. In other words, the student who could not follow in the class properly, or if he is going slow, he can relearn it from our server using the same teachers' material which has been recorded. Yes. But then it shall not be kept on the server for an infinite amount of time, like a YouTube. But it shall be kept only for a fixed time because we want to ensure that it is associated with the learning process in a continuum modem. Mm. So continuity has got to be present. Therefore, we tell that this content shall be available for about ten days, so he can run, rerun, and understand. Before going to the next set of the lessons. Very true. Right. Yes, sir. And sir, these days, if you see, uh, thousands of startup companies are there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Students are coming mm. up with a uh, new ideas, mm. innovative ideas. Mm. In fact, creative also. Mm. So, in that way, like, uh, what's your contribution towards to like technology incubation okay. centers and everything? Lovely. Sir? When you go through our regulation, you will understand mm -hmm. that we have given the total freedom to the students, okay. even to opt a sabbatical semester. In other words, he can go out of the campus. Mm -hmm. He can get involved with any startup. He can do his own innovation. He can do his deep study. Okay. He can do whatever he likes, and then. We can come back and then submit a report telling that in this semester I have done all this. Can you give me a credit equivalence for this? Okay. Is that mandatory, sir, for every student? Not necessary. It okay. is now obviously it is on choice. Okay. So the sabbatical semester option is a choice. Okay. Not necessarily everybody should be a startup okay. person. Okay. In fact, everybody shall not be a creator. Mm -hmm. We need okay. also assisting people. Mm -hmm. So there are. There are engineers who are going to be at the assisting level. There are engineers who are going to be at the creating level. There are engineers who are going to be at the testing level, validating level. We need all of them, mm -hmm. and all of them need different uh, types of exposure. Mm -hmm. But they should understand in what they are good. They should not simply fall, as I mentioned earlier, into the rat race of just copying somebody, mm -hmm. just following up somebody. Right? It should not be for just. Earning the grades or just earning the mark, it is to learn and to discover what they are going to be. Mm -hmm. Towards that, all these efforts are being made. So we have a sabbatical semester. We allow them to combine with their project work. We allow them to combine with their internship. All put together, even up to thirty to forty credits they can earn on their own innovation. They can do the startup company. In fact, many of the startup ideas. Would come when they are quite young itself. Very true, sir. Mm. And sir, community engagement, mm -hmm. which is very important. Mm -hmm. So, how is our university involving in kind of? Right. So, at the third year level or at the second year level itself, we insist that they should do one societal oriented project mm. work. Like responsibility. So, yeah, societal response responsibility mm. should be society oriented. Therefore, their objective has got to be. Ultimately, how his technology, how his creation, or how his project work would reach the society. Mm -hmm. Society obviously means the community. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we would love to put everybody, mm -hmm. including even computer science people or mechanical engineering people, also in touch with the community. Mm -hmm. More so, that automatically happens in biotechnology department, 
and in agriculture science department. In fact, you have got to see just last week, I was with a set of agriculture students who are total three months time, total three months time, mm. even without visiting their parents, they are supposed to be with the farmers only. In the family of farmers, along with them, they should learn everything. Mm. So, uh, in fact, uh, my uh, Dean of Agricultural Science has come out with a beautiful phrase. Mm. I suggested that farmers should also be involved. He extended it to PPFP, you know, public, private, farmer partnership. Okay. So, that is how our students would get mingled with the community. Mm. Naturally, it happens in the School of Agriculture Science and Biotechnology schools, mm. but forcibly it has got to happen with the uh, robotics team, with uh, agriculture, with uh, non-agriculture departments like electronics and computer science. Well, societal centric projects really have been uh, driving them to understand the community. Okay. And sir, in what ways are university contributing to like uh, sustainable programs, mm -hmm. uh, green campus and everything like that? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See, there are 17 sustainable development goals which have been uh, declared by United Nations. Mm -hmm. The first one is education for all. Okay. Now, the whole purpose of establishing the institution in a rural background like this and also taking the institution as an off-campus in Hyderabad is only to show that both urbanization and rural backdrop are very essential for the education. Yes, that of is course. most important, right? Mm -hmm. So now, that sustainable development goal of reaching the education to the mass is our first criteria. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be a private institution, Many people think that being a private institution, education is a business. Education is not a business. Education here is for the purpose of elevating the status of every family. If you go through, just randomly go through, you can easily see that 60% of our student population, not less than 60% of our student population, are the first graduates of their respective families. Yeah. So, that's the most important goal, sustainable development goal, where education for all is achieved either through this institution or through our off-campus or through any Vignan institution for that matter. Mm. So, that's the facts. So, this leads to the second goal of sustainable development goal, the elimination of poverty. Yeah. Today, under the poor conditions, they join the institutions. Today you may be wondering, you just when you interact with the students, you will find out that their parents could have pledged their two acres of land, three acres of land to educate their son or daughter, even daughter, the daughters. We have 48 to 49 percent of uh, female uh, uh, you know, mass here in this institution. They would have pledged their land, they would have pledged their property to get them educated. Now, this obligation would be upon these students and their whole aim is somehow, some way, I have got to keep my parents happy. Yeah. Therefore, that target drives them to sincerely, and I am putting it in the quote mark, they sincerely earn and they first release that, get that pledges released. So the poverty is automatically overcome. The in per capita income of the institution uh, of the family would grow high. Mm. Well then, we could be wondering that uh, we are urbanizing these rural people, they may not go back to the fields. That is not happening. They also take interest in their agricultural lands. They encourage their parents to do that and they pump in the money for that. And many of them, after about 20 years or after about 15-20 years, they voluntarily come back to take care of their fields. Mm. So, this is happening, right? So, most of the things have been happening. And then our, our campus itself is trying to become highly eco-friendly, right? We want to reduce the carbon uh, steps. Uh, theme of some of the research themes are also wealth mm. from the waste. So, many of the research themes are wealth from the waste. Okay. So, we have been uh, working very hard on the sustainable. Uh, development goals plus of course uh, most of our teachers 
would always encourage our students to understand what is the importance of sustainability. Yes, sir. So, mm -hmm. thank you so much, sir. You share valuable information about Vignans. So, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank and of you. course, yes, every student from Vignans, they'll definitely achieve whatever they want to be, whatever they aim to be under your experience. I've got to your... tell you. Yes, sir. Boldness does not lie in walking the same path as hundreds of people have done. Okay. Boldness lies in choosing a different path, but a justified path. And that's what uh, Vignan should aim at. Wow. And my purpose as Vice Chancellor, obviously to give a different meaning, totally different meaning, not getting carried away by the usual practices. Hmm. But the difference would definitely strike a difference in the learner. Okay. That's what has got to happen. So, sir, I want to ask one more, like, out of the syllabus, so sure. what's your life quote, sir? Life quotation. My life quotation, as far as academy is concerned, hmm. it is only researchers who should teach in the classroom. Hmm. Because it's only a researcher who can make a student creative. Wow. It is only a researcher who can think big. Very Ordinary good. teacher will just prepare him for a stupid examination. Mm. Whereas a researcher will make him ready to take up the life. Yes. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your time, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you very much.